inside me at all. 'Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else. I got you, and you got me too. Hey YouTube, good morning. Welcome to my channel. I still have my fronties on. The vacuum is actually vacuuming in the background. It's nine o'clock in the morning. It always turns on at nine in the morning. I have it set, and the kids are all sleeping, so I'm just letting it run. Hi Pepper. It's like a very gloomy day. It's probably like begging to go outside because yesterday we had such a gorgeous day. And he literally spent the whole day outside. <laughs> so he has just been loving the outdoors. But let me see if the vacuum is going to move to a different room that way. Well, let me actually move it via the app. That way you can hear me better. All right, there we go. Bye-bye, little guy. I had my morning. I take a probiotic in the morning. And right now I'm going to make my... Well, not my. I found follow this account on Instagram called Holistic Cocktails, and they're not alcoholic cocktails. It just has so many great recipes for, I guess you could say mocktails, but not really because these are kind of like concoctions that have benefits, not just drink for fun. Like they are fun and they look fun and they look super cute, but they actually have benefits as well. So I found this one called Adrenal Sunrise, and I thought I would give it a try. This is my second day trying it, or third, and. I really like it. So you're supposed to use a coconut water. I don't have coconut water, but a lot of people say you can use coconut milk as well. It's like an uh, adrenal cocktail of sorts. And when you use coconut milk, it tastes like an orange creamsicle. It is so good. I thought I would hate it because I'm like, ooh, it looks kind of, kind of sketchy. I don't know, but I really like it. And then you're supposed to use orange juice. Usually no pulp. That way it's like, doesn't have the high pulp fiber and all that stuff. But this is what we got, so we're working with what we got. And then sea salt flakes. I found these really good ones on Amazon. They had amazing reviews, so like literally just a little bit. And then I dried some citrus wheels for garnish right here. You could either clip it on the side. It's mostly, mostly just like for fun. And then I have some tinctures or things like that. For example, I've been using the Zuma fulvic acid trace minerals or fulvic acid and trace ocean minerals, which I'm not really gonna talk about too much because I feel like things like this, supplements, even herbal supplements, whatever, they're very, um, very specific. Like you you can't just like be recommending stuff to people unless you have the background to do that. So I feel like you definitely have to be very careful with um, supplements and things like that because one size does not fit, uh, fit all. You can't just be trying what everybody else is trying just because you know everybody's doing it on YouTube or TikTok, whatever. So, but you don't have to add a tincture, tink, tink, tincture, tincture, tincture. You don't have to add like a um, herbal supplement or anything like that. I just do for added benefits. I just have one here from Mary Ruth for now and then kind of want to like build my stash. But let's go ahead and make this Adrenal Sunrise Cocktail Mocktail Concoction. We don't need nobody else. I got you. And you got me too. salt goes a long way. I personally would do it without salt. I feel like it's the saltiness is a little bit salty <laughs> but oh, it's like a really good I was surprised that I don't hate this you know. I'm gonna go in my little corner here. Usually I sit in like one of these two chairs right here. Yesterday was a gorgeous beautiful sunny day and today is just so gloomy. I feel like I need to face the window otherwise it is just super gloomy but I figured for today's video I'd share my little morning, every morning is different. Like yesterday we woke up after the kids. So I would say two out of seven days I wake up before the kids or at least try to. Why is this so bright? I just like to sit here and this is like my designated reading area. I have my stash of books here. I've recently been reading this book called Quiet by Naomi Vaccaro, is it? Yeah. And I got the Kindle version and I bought three more. I'm gonna gift them to girlfriends for a mother's day because i think it's such a great read just to have sometimes it's even hard finding time to read um but just finding time throughout the day it's just such a great book basically to summarize it it says creating great grace based rhythms 
for spending time with Jesus. And I emphasized grace-based based rhythms because a lot of times we come out of guilt. Like, we have to, we have to, we have to, and then we feel guilty that we didn't, and we make it like a, more of a routine more than anything. Um, then we see people on social media doing it, so you're like, oh, I feel bad. She talks about instead of making it more of a you have to thing, making it a you need to thing, kind of like relationships. Like it's 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 a relationship. You are growing a relationship. Think of it even in, ter in simple terms of like a human relationship, whether it's your best friend, your spouse, whatever, your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother. And they, instead of thinking like, oh, I have to spend time with them, I, it's that you... You know, you need to for that relationship to grow and you're excited about it and you come to them because you're excited to spend time with them. Not like, ugh, I have to spend time with them again. Oh, I didn't spend time with them in a week. I should probably go visit them. And then you feel guilty, you know? Like, that's not the best basis for a relationship in my opinion. <laughs> so it's just been such a great read. So I do want to give some to friends. And then I also want to share some great Mother's Day gift ideas in today's video. I have some Ana Luisa pieces. Ana Luisa is one of my favorite jewelry pieces. I would say like 85, maybe 90% of my jewelry is from there. And then also share some Amazon home finds. I finally, finally got some pictures to go up in those frames right there. A good friend of mine, childhood friend, she's a photographer and she takes really amazing photos. I love the style of her photos and her photography. So she came down, this was probably like two years now at this point. So it's been a minute, it's been a minute. I definitely was, it's been almost two years. So it's definitely been a minute. But she came down, took some pictures of the family, of our family and I love, they're like super, um, they're not like portrait pictures, like studio pictures, they're just, I don't think all of us are looking at any of the pictures. Like they're just so, uh, I would say like natural, kind of like just us hanging out as a family and stuff and someone's just taking the photos of you. And I made them black and white and I ordered them from Amazon. Believe it or not, Amazon Photos has an option and even has an app where you can order prints. So those came in and then I have a few other things that came in this week that I want to share about. But I'll do that later, so that's kind of like my little introduction. I'm going to sit here and enjoy my quiet time because it doesn't always happen. The thing with social media is that a lot of times people might see you like doing something and they assume that you're always doing that. Like if I wake up and show that I wake up at like 6 o'clock on a Monday, people might think, wow, she wakes up so early all the time. And it's like it was literally like one Monday out of the week. All right, guys, so I'm going to enjoy my little quiet time and then take you guys through some moments of the day. And so if you're interested in that, then... Just hang around. I took off the frownies and I have to do my skincare, but I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee now. Eloise woke up, she's sitting there in the other living room. She's the first one that's awake. I'm actually surprised. It's like 10 23 and everyone is still sleeping. I think because for the past two days they've been going to bed at midnight and literally midnight, which is for them it's like unheard of. So I'm enjoying this, but I'm gonna make myself coffee now. And I had these beans sent over last night from the brand Life Boost. Uh, this is not like a paid collaboration by any means, but we tried them last night and they're really good. I think they say in their website like 2% of coffee beans fit their like super strict standards. They're hand-picked. They're low acid beans, so that's like a big plus. And USD Organic, we personally, personal decision, usually try to only buy USD Organic coffee beans because coffee beans can be heavily sprayed so with pesticides and that's why we usually opt for USD Organic when possible. Right now, it is a blessing to be able to do that. So I'm sorry, this hair is like not cute right now so don't mind it, I have to curl it. I usually don't leave it straight but I let it air dry last night and this is a situation I understand. I have to curl it, I have to do something with it. You can like read through on their website, I'll leave a link down below and this is the I think it's pronounced Adamo, Adamo. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a cup of this. My latte art is on point today. Super cute, but I'm gonna go sit over here, kind of like in the sun a little bit, but not really. This room is one of our brightest rooms right here. I'm not even gonna show you the table because my husband has like all his stuff on there right now. He took over, well, might as well. <laughs> he took over, he's doing like a lot of stuff for the RV. It's like random stuff. I, I, don't, even, I don't even know enough to get into it, but he, this is like has become his little workstation where he's like assembling everything. This coffee, you guys, it's really good. I would definitely try it at least, at least once because I don't like when my coffee. I love that it's low acid. I know everybody's different. Some people like will just use um, 
Like we have Starbucks beans we bought from, um, uh, not Costco. Every time Pepper smells espresso, he like tries to, or coffee, he tries to like cover it up as if it's like pee or poop. I mean, look at this. <laughs> like I could not make this up. Why are you such a hater? It's like the best smell ever. Look at this. Pepper. <laughs> this cat's hilarious. He hates the smell. I don't think he hates it. I think he, well, obviously he does. He thinks it like smells like poop or something. Somebody commented once saying they once got a whiff of coffee and for like a split second it smelled like almost like pee. So maybe something about this for cats it smells like cat urine or something. I think that would make sense. It would make a lot of sense. But literally without fail every single time. He tries to cover this up and he's kind of like a clean cat. He's half Russian blue. The dad was like a black fuzzy cat. So he can be a little bit particular like about his litter box. It needs to be cleaned and it needs to be clean. Um, and I would say he's a pretty clean cat. We definitely love having him around and being part of the family. He's an interesting character. He's like loving at the same time. Um, he gets scared easily. But this part about him is just hilarious. But anyway, what was I even saying? Oh, I was saying like, we would buy coffee beans like the Starbucks, I think Verona blend. And it's just like, oh, it's way too bitter. And then there's a local coffee shop that roasts their own beans as well. Those are really good, but they have like a bit of a sweet undertone. These have, I say they're almost like toasted. I'm super excited to try this and it did not disappoint. Okay, we got the hair, the makeup done, and now I just kind of want to walk through some Mother's Day gift ideas. Mother's Day is coming up around the corner, and I feel like Mother's Day is the perfect time to show love and appreciation in whatever form, whether it's giving a gift, doing something special, taking them out for that woman in your life that is just to say, you know, I am so thankful for you. I am so grateful for your sacrifices, for all that you have done. I'm thinking of you, just those kind of type of gifts. So I have a few things here that I feel like would make great gifts most of them are like beauty related something that I feel like for me personally I love you know things like facials taking care of myself so that's one gift idea you can definitely gift or go well, on like a mom and daughter or like a friend um, sister whatever date to the spa give them a gift certificate go to get facials pedicure whatever I think that'd be like a really fun go out for lunch just spend time together I feel like spending time is like building memories is probably one of the most important things that you can do but aside from that i do have some more materialistic type gifts that i feel like would um they would just be nice to gifts to that woman in your life so first things first i wanted to talk about some anna luisa pieces i am an anna luisa vip and i'm actually really excited because now my second piercing hole has healed up so i'm able to like change out the jewelry and do all these different fun stacks but both of these all everything that i'm wearing is from anna luisa just not this one right here because this is a piercing jewelry and it's not healed yet it's going to take some time to heal so this one's not from anna luisa but they do have like a really cute almost like a crawler type earring that i have been eyeing once this one heals and i'm able to swap it out these are probably my most worn earrings ever. I think this is their Celeste set. So one of them has like a star and then there's a moon on the other one. It's just great for every day. I don't know, something about these earrings I just absolutely love. And then I have these right here, which I really like as well because it almost looks like you're wearing a double hoop, but you're not. And the second hoop is a little bit smaller. It has like these stones all around it. So I feel like this is a great everyday earring as well, and I have them on both ears here. This is probably my favorite stacking necklace. This is the Yousef necklace. It's a great unisex type necklace. It's a, I'd say it's a little bit more feminine, and I just love it for stacking. I stacked it with this necklace here, which I thought was so cute. It's like a little silhouette. It reminds me of like a Greek sculpture. Definitely something that if you saw it, you would want to comment on it. Something that catches your eye. So it's like the perfect feminine necklace. I think this would make a really great gift for Mother's Day for someone. It's very, very unique. They do have earrings as well if you wanted to make it a set. Then I have some new arrivals that I chose. The first one are these Rocks Think Pave, Pa Pa Pave earrings here. And I've been seeing these chain link type earrings more and more. And these are unique because when you turn them to the front, they have, they're covered in um, like a cubic zirconia stone. So it adds like a little bit of blink to it, not like your typical chain link. So I thought these were really fun. And these are just like a great, I feel like with jewelry, sometimes it can be a little tricky, but these are the type that I feel like if you have someone who has earrings that most people will be able to make this work and enjoy. And then I have this set here, which I'm actually gonna give to my sister-in-law. She mentioned one time that she loves emerald green. So I 
chose this set right here. I think it is such a beautiful set. I think it's called their Temple. Yes, yeah, their Temple Green set. And it comes, you can wear it separately, you can wear it together. It is meant to be like a stacking piece. It has like carved out bevels on the side and then this Temple Green, this beautiful emerald green color right here. And then this is the stacking piece. It's like a nice day. Almost looks like the Yousef here, but a little bit more feminine, if you will. So I think this is such a beautiful set and so many reviews absolutely love this set for good reason. But I think this would make a really, really cute gift for someone. And the beautiful thing about things like gifting jewelry is that every time you wear it, you know, they'll think of the person that gifted it to them. So it has like all that little memorabilia, memorable touch to it, if you will. Next up is this beauty here and this is the Hannah Engraved. And as soon as I saw this, I thought this would make a really great gift for my mother-in-law. So if you look, I think it's opal. But if you look closely, you can see there is a rose kind of like embellished into the opal. Definitely gives off Beauty and the Beast Victorian vintage vibes. I just thought this would make such a great gift for my mother-in-law. She's not crazy big on jewelry, but this would make a great, like let's say there's a wedding that she's going to. I think this would be like a cute, cute piece to wear with um, a dress if you're a wedding guest. I just thought this would be just a nice thing to have in her collection to reach for for those moments. Like every gift that you buy... Um, Try to think of the person, what they like, how they can use it, things like that. So that's kind of like my thought process behind buying somebody a gift. I want it to be meaningful, worth something. I put the thought into it, thought about them. And then last but not least is this guy right here. And this is the, this one actually doesn't have a name. It just has a SKU. But this one, I don't know if it was a collab with someone, but it's a hand reaching for like a cubic zirconia stone. And what really caught my attention was the description behind it. It basically said to remember to always reach for the stars. And I immediately like thought of my sister, not necessarily reach for the stars, but just to, you know, never give up, keep persevering, keep going. So I feel like this is definitely a unique piece along this one here and it has just great meaning behind it. That kind of concludes the Ana Luisa portion. Ana Luisa does have a buy one, get one 40% off sale going on right now. And it's great if you wanted to buy like stacking pieces or you wanted to buy a gift for your mother plus your mother-in-law or for you and you or you and someone else. I just think they would make really great gifts that actually have meaning and thought behind them. So I thought I would mention them in today's video and then some other ideas. I actually have my candle going, my little peony candle. I usually don't burn this candle a lot, but thought it'd be appropriate. Um, you can give forever roses. I'm actually gonna insert a clip of ones that I bought from a local boutique. It's like an acrylic box. You take off the lid. I keep the lid on to kind of preserve them. Beautiful white roses. I've had them for over a year now. Yeah, I've had them since last February for Valentine's Day and it has like a little drawer where I keep just like some little knickknacks, things like that. I used to keep my jewelry in there, but then I switched it over to a jewelry box. And then I also have these roses here behind me, which I got probably two Christmases ago and they have been holding up really well. The box is not the best, like it comes with it's just like a basic white box like so and then it does have their logo here. Um, and then it comes with this lid here, it's like an acrylic lid. And the acrylic lid gets pretty foggy, like you could tell it's not crystal clear and then they added this sticker on it which is impossible to remove so I don't like that. But they are really affordable, I think these are like $99 and it's been like two Christmases. They don't have a scent to them. I think what most brands do is they'll add like a rose smell back to the flowers so you could just spray some rose scented essential oil or something on it. But they have lasted pretty pretty good and I love this blush color. I just keep them right here in my room. I feel like it matches the vibe perfectly. I have this little gift bag of stuff that I got my sister for her birthday. I wanted to use it as an example of things that you can do. So for example, for her birthday, I'm thinking like, you know, she has everything, not everything, but like if she needs anything, she'll get it. Like, what can I possibly buy her? So what, um, what I did is kind of like put together a little gift box like of my favorite things that I feel like she might enjoy. So some eye patches. Wonder Beauty has some of my all-time favorite eye patches. Um, I just like drinking my coffee in the morning, putting it on an eye patch to get those benefits in before I do my skincare. I just love doing that. I feel like it's a great... A great little thing to do and then like have like a little morning ritual like that. The books that I mentioned, the quiet books from Amazon, I'll link it down below because I think that's like another great gift. You can gift it with a gift card to like Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks. You can gift it with a mug and just make like a little collection of things that you feel like that person would love. Chocolate, whatever. But for my sister, I got the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I had it shipped to her house because it wouldn't come in on time. I also picked up this Merit Beauty Flush Balm blush right here. 
and I love Merit Beauty. I think they have some great products. They're very like minimalistic and good quality as well, and I love their packaging. So I got her this blush right here. I feel like she really likes wearing blush amongst other things. And lip products. I might include some lip products in here as well, like some of my favorite lip products. You can do like a Charlotte Tilbury pillow top. And I found this Kitsch headband at TJ Maxx for $7.99. You can get it on Amazon for $14, but I just so happened to come across on Amazon uh, TJ Maxx for $7.99, so I thought that was a really good deal. Put that in here. A candle, just this one's called Sea Salt and Iris smells so good just for like a little spa at home moment with the eye patches and everything i wanted to include this as an option of a mother's day gift idea just put together like a little gift box of either some of your favorite things that you want to give them or some of their favorite things that they can use and these are items that like you know every time they use it they'll think of you and then last but not least i wanted to mention this because i feel like this is probably my favorite if you have the budget for it the Ferreo ufo 2 is my all-time favorite at home skincare device i haven't i've had it for some time now i did buy it via amazon beauty i go through and choose beauty products that i want to try and share about and this one caught my eye i didn't even know it was a thing until i was like perusing through amazon so i purchased it and then i started looking at youtube video reviews and i was like okay this looks really cool and then it came in and i absolutely love it it comes with different it doesn't come with different you can buy different types of little sheet masks to use it with i personally use it with the app because each sheet mask for example this one right here i think it's called shimmer freak no this pink one it's called shimmer freak this one is meant for the eye area so it has cryotherapy i believe it's called and the device gets really cold so with this sheet mask the device will automatically go through certain modes that it was designed for whereas like for something like this h2o overdose it will use the heat therapy it has a bunch of different light therapy modes so there's green light red light blue light and each light does something different so depending on the mask the settings are going to be different as well so i personally like to use it with the app but it's nice that they have the function to use it without the app and with your own sheet masks it's taking like a 30 minute facial and cramming it into a two minute i know sometimes facials are really nice and relaxing to go and relax but this just has been so nice to use several times a week every single day whenever you want and you just kind of go through and have like those two minutes to yourself and get reap all those benefits in like a two minute facial situation so that concludes my little segment in today's video of different gift ideas for mother's day i hope that gave you guys some ideas i will link all the products down below the photos that i ordered i think i have four in here and four in here they were came in rolls like this and i'm gonna do that right now i haven't even opened them honestly so let's see oh yeah it's really good it's like your typical photo um photo quality just like really enlarged so there's this one of my daughter aviana i just thought this was like such a cute moment and i got all black and white just because I, although i loved the editing of the photos um i just wanted to opt for like a black and white because my living room has um tidbits of like black accents throughout and then i printed this one here which is of me and my kids this one's one of my favorites i was twirling with eloise and she captured this this girl's like always smiling i thought this was such a cute photo so loved this one i knew that i needed to get it printed and then i mean this one we're all looking but my two kids have like a stink face going on <laughs> but i still thought it was like really cute like josiah's like what's going on and eloise is like what am i doing here but just like a a cute little photo so those are those four let me check these out here printed one of me and my husband love this photo here just me and my husband kind of like in in the moment this one of my husband and the kids i thought this was really cute and then there's two more let's see oh this one i love i love this one because it's just like totally in the moment and eloise is just so happy like it's literally like pure joy on this girl's face my husband's like tossing her in the air. I just thought it was so cute. And then my other two are just, you know, doing whatever. And then last but not least, there this is this one here, where it's kind of like also in the moment. Just like super cute captured, captured photos. So I'm really excited to hang these up. Let me go ahead and hang them up and kind of show you. I'm not gonna show the process of me hanging them up, but I'll hang them up, show the big reveal, and then talk about a few other pieces I got in Amazon and probably close out this vlog because I feel like it's way too long. And here is the big reveal. Super happy with how they look. I love the black and white. I have a lot of black and white in the living room, so it matches perfectly. I'm sure the color would have been great as well. It would have added like pops of color, but um, I don't know. This is just kind of what I was going for. Let me kind of go through 
things that I got off of Amazon this week. So the first was this chain link decor for the table. I do a lot of like board games around here. So I keep the board games on this side with the kids. I'm just kind of like hanging out here playing board games. So I wanted to keep it a little bit minimal and not like too stuffy because we do actually spend a lot of time here. But I got this black chain link um, decor piece off of Amazon. It's definitely a lot smaller than I thought it would be. But it actually turns out to be, you know, pretty good size. And then these are Forever Roses. They kids been messing with them the dogs uh the dog i don't have a dog <laughs> the cats have been messing with them so they look a little you know not fresh let's just say and then this book i mentioned before this is from the bible project i don't know if anybody's familiar with it they do a lot of summaries of bible books so this is like a great piece to have it's like a coffee table book so i got this on amazon as well this is like a really nice find Yes, they are. And then also this week I ordered this right here because like I said, we do play a lot of board games or like games. So this kind of like helps conceal everything. I used to have a present box that I found at Home Goods, but it was Christmas uh, themed. So I had to get rid of that because it's not Christmas anymore. And I picked this up. It's like a velvet cover, really cute. Almost looks like a real book and it comes in different colors. I really liked like the vintage look to it and the emerald color i love emerald and then i got these on amazon as well these are the gospels but they're a readers set so essentially unlike a typical bible that has verses and chapters and stuff like that for people for people to reference to this one is kind of just like a story as if you were reading a story so you don't have the distractions of the of the verses and chapters and everything so i thought that was really neat so i keep that here and then these are just like some old shutterfly books i definitely got to update it and get some more. So those are just some few things that I picked up off Amazon. Sometimes you can find some really nice deals, but I feel like the photos finally add this per the perfect touch to, don't mind this, we have like spackle, we have paint hiding there, that's like real life, y'all. And then I've got my husband's like RV batteries here, and then he took over the dining room. It's just like a lot, go there's always something going on here. So my house is rarely where run one room is like completely done. So minus that right there, I'm loving how everything is coming together. I honestly think I'm going to finish the video here because otherwise it's going to be way too long. But anything I talked about, as always, I will link down below. Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. And see you guys in the next video. Yeah, I need it. Don't you need me to too? Because I got you. And you got me too.